All right, guys, so today we have a pretty fun video. Uh, we're going to do something they tell you never to do, uh, but uh, we are going to Google ourselves and see what's out there. I think it's important to know what sort of content comes up when you Google your name, especially if you have a, a relatively f relatively uh, unique name, right? Like your name is going to be one of the more unique things. Not always the case, right? Uh, and see what's what's out there about you because that's one of the first things companies do and recruiters do is they go and see what's on your social media they go see what's on your linkedin and they google you to see what's going on out in the world and it's important to know that so you can maybe clean it up remove some things that aren't representative of who you are as a person or a uh, employee nowadays so let's go ahead and jump into it <laughs> I'd like to take a moment to thank our long-term sponsor, Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp. I've been partnering up with Dev Mountain for a couple of years now, and I've had the chance to see multiple campuses and housing. I've been really impressed. Dev Mountain has a couple different programs from web dev to iOS development, software QA, and UX design. Some are after-hours part-time programs, and some are fully immersive programs where they actually include housing at no additional cost so you can get up and go. If you're interested in finding out more, there's a link in the description below. Puppies are not going to be barking during this video. <laughs> I got the water bottle. <laughs> Keep them in check. So uh, sort of funny side tangent about this, you know, um, I, I it feels like every video I make nowadays, I have to talk about dating in some aspect or, or another. And um, I actually decided to make this video because I am uh, I'm talking to this girl and she's out there doing her research on the Facebook, the Instagrams, seeing what this dude is all about. And, uh, you know, I somewhat appreciate it because it shows interest. Uh, but I thought, you know what? Why don't we do research on ourselves? That's how we came about this. So let's go ahead and see what's going on here. So if we go ahead and Google Dylan Israel. Uh, first thing that comes up is YouTube channel. That's pretty good. I like that. So um, from, a, from a perspective of, hey, what is a recruiter going to see? They're going to see a software channel, right? That's pretty cool. Uh, they're then going to find my LinkedIn. They probably should already have access to that. See what's going on with me and what I'm doing. You're going to find my Twitter, uh, which you can see here. Uh, my last tweet, which was uh, the milestone tweet about how I hit 2 million minutes watched on Scrimba. They're going to hit next the um, my instructor page, which is all software courses. So that's pretty solid. Um uh, have some videos. Uh, this is interesting. This is an old live stream. You guys must must have liked this one. Uh, How to code like pro, a, a video series I did on the YouTube channel. I don't know that they'd go that deep. Uh, they're gonna come across my website, which there's not too much on there, but I suppose that's interesting. Uh, again, software related, related to the industry. Uh, they're gonna come across my GitHub. Oh, here's a uh, interesting thing. This was a um, an interview I did with Pop Web Design. I really enjoyed this. Uh, I shared this on my LinkedIn and social media and uh, see what's out there. This is like my all-time favorite photo. This is probably the one thing I appreciate about my <laughs> my my last relationship is that she took this photo. So thank you uh, to, to um, she who should not be named uh, for this photo. This is one of my favorite photos. Although I, I've since moved away from it because um, unfortunately... Uh, it's just one of those things where uh, need need to look a little bit more professional sometimes. But this 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 in its in its essence captures who I am as an individual. Let's just get to work, fuck the bullshit, and uh, give me some Alaskan king crab legs, I guess. Um, uh, we got my GitHub. That's pretty cool. By the way, if you haven't gone and checked out the ultimate coding resources list, we got uh, two point three stars and. Do I have any open repos on here? No, okay, cool. Oh, yeah. I'm always adding uh, additional stuff. So you can see here that uh, clean architecture, we have a book section, a course section, you know, sites. There's tons of resources here available for you to get better at coding. So check that out. Uh, link in the description below. Let's see. On Free Code Camp, we have a podcast uh, for me. It looks like the photo they used is down, but this is when. Um, uh, dropout turned software engineer straight up. They ain't sugarcoating that shit at all. 
uh <laughs> my man uh so uh definitely check out the free code camp uh podcast if you haven't already all right let's see here um dude it's kind of a trip that they just throw your email up like that is it oh only i can see the seat result well there's my email uh you guys it's, a, it's publicly available uh we already have my twitter account code mentor uh another account that i do although i haven't really had any success trying to get any work uh with it um so we'll see what happens with that but again more software related stuff uh scrimba i was hoping this would rate higher we can see some of my scrimba courses that i have created the es6 intro to typescript um intro to javascript scale share I do have a Skillshare account, but I um, they keep on deleting all my courses every time I make one and upload one, so I stopped using it. So f those guys. <laughs> I'm trying to clean up my language just a little bit, uh, but uh, that's why I stutter stepped there for a second. Um, let's see my Instagram, the Gram. This is a. Uh, so you definitely want to go through here and make sure you have some professional photos and not like you don't want to have any, um, you know, don't be taking bong hits or anything, <laughs> anything on your stuff <laughs> or like just, uh, you know, you can have a casual glass of wine or something like that, but, um, you don't want to be getting too crazy. By the way, if you haven't seen this, basically half my content is my dogs. So let me turn on the audio so you can see this. This is me freaking out that my dogs were digging while I was cleaning up dog shit in my house because they ate something that upset their stomach. Girl, what happened to no digging? Huh? What happened to no digging? Gator, where were you? Gator. No digging. You know what? It's funny. They say dogs don't have like a memory. I play that video back to her whenever she digs now, like her, like when she goes outside and she instantly, instantly knows. She knows. She knows. All right. Uh, Gator knows too. Um, oh, my code pin. This is pretty cool. So uh, I'm not going to keep opening. This looks like the same uh, free code. Th this free code camp uh, things all over the place. So my code pin. We got a whole bunch of uh, projects here. Uh, technical documentation page, uh, 404, a whole bunch of stuff that I worked on. Um, Patreon. Um, uh, Patreon account, you can check it out. I make about $50 a month and I appreciate it. Uh, stats, mash, calculator, what is this? Dylan is an American YouTuber has a net worth of five thousand dollars as of April twenty twenty. I make that in about two and a half months <laughs> from YouTube in various aspects. Um, today one dollar so far. Uh, I'm gonna have to tell you that I definitely make more than a dollar a day on YouTube. Uh, uh, stats smash. I don't know how this, uh, how you collect your stuff, but uh. Got to update the algorithm, my, my boys, my boys. <laughs> um, let's see. That's interesting. Uh, let's see what's on page three. Although no one ever gets past page one, I would imagine. You got my Facebook. Okay, so now we're getting, we're getting to uh, some stuff that's not going to be related. My Facebook, Bob Dylan. So a couple things that will come up for my name, I imagine, is Bob Dylan, for one, who I'm named after, by the way, and also um, Israel. The country stuff about the you know what's going on in the world we have this episode right here the six figure deb where i talk about career development on their podcast uh coding tutorials 360.com the um website that i built way back in the day so for those of you who don't know this is the website i built for my youtube channel back when it's called coding tutorials 360.com is that actually the project i built it in angular js angular one that hand helped me land my very first role. Um, what is this? This sounds sketchy. Muckrack. I've never heard of Muckrack. But here's an article that I helped with how to start a YouTube channel. I gave some advice to Bo Carnes. Uh, and a talk answer. Always happy to um, facilitate. What did I even say in here? 
<sighs> so that every employee is on specifically mentioned YouTube channel. That's true. Um, uh, some notes for our podcast. I'm surprised. Um, I'm surprised our podcast hasn't come up. Um, I guess we don't have good SEO for my name. Uh, another podcast I did on Dev.2 uh, with our. Uh, this looks like um, the conversation I did on Tech Junior that was uploaded there. Check them out. Good podcast with my buddy Lee. And let's see page four. No one ever gets to page four. Okay, so here's some podcasts with Eric and I. Uh, Medium. I do have a Medium. I've never read anything. Uh, Thunder Nerds, another podcast that I did. Thunder Nerds. Um, that's not me. I was like, me, Dylan, is there in Ecuador? <laughs> oh, there's the Tech Junior podcast right there. And, uh, Quadranet Dylan Israel hosting. Oh my God, this is going back. Hosting journalism. Look at that. This is way back in the day. This is, uh, this was even before my internship when I was working at a, a data center writing um, uh, articles, blogs on, on uh, the industry. Wow. Okay, we're on page five. No one's ever making it page five. Let's see any news. Probably all going to be about Bob Dylan or Israel. Any images? You get a couple images of me. By the way, I look like shit in here. I wish they'd get rid of. Where did this come from? That needs. What is this? What is this? That's one of those images that we don't want on the internet. You don't want to be hitting the hookah pipe. Tobacco pipe. All right, people, get your mind. Bootleg at bootleg. <laughs> you know what? I must have made this Twitter account a decade ago, but I look so young there. You can't even tell it's me. God, I'm like 18. Look at that jawline. What happened? I'm all... My brother tells me all the time how I got fat in the face. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, some photos, nothing too crazy. Who is this? This she who should not be named on here. Oh my God. We'll have to fix that. Uh, yeah. All right. So we Googled ourselves a little bit inspired by the, uh, the research. Some of them girls be doing out there and some of HR. Uh, but the, I think it's probably not a bad idea once a year. Google yourself and see if there's anything out there that you might be a little concerned about. Most of these things you have control over, not everything, right? Um, one of you guys could spin up an article about how I'm a horrible human being. I probably couldn't get taken down. <laughs> uh, but it is it is important to have an idea of what you're putting out into the world because it, it does matter, right? People are going to research it. People are going to see what's going on. And people are going to be curious who you are as an individual based on what's out there. And it could affect your... Um, you know, your hireability uh, at the end of the day. Whether it should or not is a separate conversation, but uh, I think it's worth mentioning that it, it can and it will. So with that all being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share. Hopefully by the next time you see me wearing a tank top, I'll have a better tan uh, than I have right now. It's been a little hot in the house today, so um, I threw this on. It's the only tank top I have. It used to not fit me anymore because I was getting... Getting a little thick. <laughs> Stacking them gains. Uh, so, uh, you know, celebrating them little W's. With all that being said, guys, please subscribe. Uh, looking for that 100,000 uh, milestone. And uh, if you're interested in my courses, there are links in the description below. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to check out my latest course, the 100 Front End Interview Questions Challenge, to make sure that you ace those front end interviews. Smash that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.